But showing steadfast love to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. I hear a lot of people say, nobody can keep all of the commandments. How many of you heard that or maybe even said that yourself? Maybe you still think that or you do believe that today. How many of you here can keep all of the commandments? I see a couple of hands kind of going like this. Yes, very good. How many of you, let me ask that question. How many of you can guard and cherish the commands? Let me see here. Okay, now what's going on here? I asked you the same thing two different ways, and I got two different responses. The word keep is the word shamar, means to guard. To get a little bit of better understanding of what this word means is when the shepherds were out at night. Remember the Hebrews, and we're going to talk more about them, I think, tomorrow, the Hebrew nomads, the nomadic lifestyle of the Hebrews. They were shepherds. And they would take their flocks out sometimes for days at a time looking for water. Well, that was something I was going to bring up, by the way. When you got up this morning and saw that it was raining, what did you think? You thought, what? Beautiful day. You thought it was a beautiful, (laughs) it's a beautiful day. Come on, that's great. Maybe it was wet on my face. But how many of you were excited to see the rain? A couple. Normally. Except today. How many of you were a little bit disappointed it was raining? Okay, we've got a few here. Some people just really didn't care. Or we might be, if you're a farmer and you're raising crops, you might be thinking, yeah, I need that rain. Well, if it's at the wrong time and you've already harvested and you haven't brought up your alfalfa yet and bailed it, then you've got a problem. But we all have different ways of looking at rain. When you're reading the Bible and it says that it rained, Don't let your own personal opinion about what rain means to you to influence how you understand that text. What does rain mean to the ancient Hebrews who were nomads? Life and death. Rain isn't just rain. And I I wanted to bring that up to remind you that when you're reading the text, you can't think of it like yourself. Let's take a look at the word shamar. As I was saying earlier, is that the shepherd would be out at night or for days at a time away from the family camp with his sheep in search of water and grass. And at night he needed to corral his sheep together to protect them from the wild animals and the wild beasts. What he would do is he would go around and he would construct a wall of rock, a corral of rock, and then on top of that he would build up thorn bushes. Okay, And these intermangled, twined thorn bushes would protect the sheep from the predators. Then he would get inside and close it off, and they would be protected in there through the night. That's a shamar. Imagine that corral of thorn bushes. That is a shamar. It means to guard and to protect. So now if I ask...